my name is Betty Namkasa. Uh, I was born in Masaka and uh, I lived abroad for almost 30 years. But uh, we have been working on this farm in Kasijagira. It's called Battersea Farm, relating to where I used to live in London. The place is called Battersea. So those memories, so that they don't fade away, so I named the farm after the place where I used to live, Battersea Farm. So this is the place. The whole acreage of the land is comprises 45 acres. Um, we do have chicken coop or chicken house. Um, we used to look after um, layers and broilers. Ordinary traditional chickens in Cooking and indigenous chickens, yes. We just brought um, turkeys and we do have lots of ducks and uh, geese. We do have, we used to have a lot of uh, goats and sheep, and then we had a setback uh, with uh, these dogs. They used to come and kill them uh, when they are on free range, uh, the, way the, the dogs used to come and um, attack the, uh, our goats and sheep. Mm -hmm. So now we've got about eight, so we are bouncing back, and we've got about 12 sheep, and we've got about uh, 21 uh, cows. Yeah, two bulls and um, miracles, they're about nine and we've got about i think about uh seven or nine calves as well so that's us so when we collect the um uh, the dung cow dung come with me i'll show you okay. how we use our uh, fertilizer This is the barrel digester, so we bring in our dung here and process it, and then it produces gas, and then the byproduct, which is biocellularly, and that's what we use to um, uh, for um, manure for our uh, plants. So. Um, So that is, uh, we put the, um, oh, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. So this is the bio And uh, we have conducted the process because of uh, labor. So we have piped the bio I'll show you the two uh, pits in the farm where it's, it's easier for people to, um, uh, to carry and put on the, uh, on the plants. Okay. Mixture of um, coffee plants banana. and banana. And look at the, the size of the, uh, the bean. It's massive. Screen 18. I'm sure it is. Look. That is all biocellular. That is the only fertilizer we use on the farm here. Biocellular. That's what we use. We don't use any other. Uh, you don't use conventional type of farming. No. Uh, you, you don't use synthetic. Uh, no, we don't use synthetic uh, fertilizers. Uh, we what, use biocellular. What about synthetic pesticides? Uh, you I don't would use say them. For pesticides, no, we don't. Uh, use... We use um, black off. Yeah. And there is that um, way of killing off the black trick boar like using yeah. the um, ethanol. Ethanol. Yeah. Uh, with the, uh, the, the uh, traps. Uh, which, with the traps. Yes. Uh, oops, there is one here. Mm. So this is the other way of killing the black, the uh, coffee black pig boana. Yeah, this one. So we've got lots of them in the um, in the farm. Uh, so we use that uh, the other way of controlling the black trick boana. The trap. The, the trap. Yeah. So as you can see. 
drought, but we haven't started irrigating. I, I think it's just the process we use those small trenches uh, full of manure and, and the uh, shades of the yeah and the, and the shades of the banana as well it's helping let me take you to and see where our biofiller is uh, the pit uh, fill up this pit as well uh, so this is one of them uh, one of the pit where we keep the biocellary and uh, we carry it from here and put it on the plants in the garden. Otherwise, the labor was too much because they were complaining that it was hard work. So I'm trying to make life easier. And biocellary, it has been really wonderful. To me, I don't know about other people, mm. but as you see, we don't use synthetic fertilizers. We use biocellary uh, to fertilize our plants. What about the weeding? The weeding, manual, slashing. We can go up there and then you see, we use manual and uh, a slashing of course at the same time. Beautiful, beautiful plants really? yeah. <laughs> make you feel proud. Mm. <laughs> they do make you feel very proud. Oh, it's wonderful, beautiful. Beautiful. Look, look at the berries. How wonderful the uh, you know. Beautiful. Which type of coffee did you plant? Um, Robusta. Um, uh, robusta, this is yeah. robusta. Yeah. It is robusta. Um, is it uh, cutting? Is yeah. it cutting? A yeah, clone. A clone. It's a clone. Yeah. yeah. Clone yeah. robusta. Yeah. yeah. That is yeah. clone robusta. Okay. <laughs> Put it here, it can be in position to uh, change the soil so that it can be in position to retain enough water. Mm. Yeah, so when you get a, a dry spell, it's like the plants will remain healthy. As you can see, yeah. it's totally different from the other yeah. This is where we extract the banana juice from. <laughs> Yeah, so this is, this part of the garden has a lot of trenches. Yeah, mm -hmm. so all these trenches are over. Yeah, and they all have manure in them. Uh, and you can see how the, uh, the plants look like. It's totally different from the other parts. Yeah, they do have trenches here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why don't you get people to pick it? Yeah, I do. You can be in a position to harvest yourself for uh, 40,000 shillings, mm. Ugandan shillings. Of course, if you convert it to a dollar, I don't know. Mm. Uh, 40,000 in a dollar is good. Uh, about 40? Yeah. Is it, uh, the dollar is about 30,000? Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. a new one. A very good student. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this Enjoy is that. all to do with this <laughs> Amwanda. Yeah. A very good you student. See? Trenches. Yeah. Mix with the uh, manure mix. And then they mulch. Yeah. When they mulch, it doesn't dry up. Yeah. So it would be good to do to do mixed farming. You have had more husbandry and plant <laughs> and, uh, and the crop husbandry. Yeah. So that you minimize the expenses in part of fertilizing. Mm -hmm. And at the same time you keep the soil in good in a good healthy state. And of course the crops growing there are also healthy, like the soil itself. Mm 